Hey folks, welcome back. David Eon and the absolutely striking Miss Lady Pop Potter knocks me out. Look at that smile. Yeah. How can you resist that? Not that kind of knockout. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't realize. We are here again with our weekly roundup, taking a look at some of the stuff that's coming to adult collecting, with the exception of the Funko Pop SDCC. That video went up yesterday. So we separated it so that the video wouldn't be too terribly long. Yeah. Now, if you're in the Patreon, go over to Patreon to see if you are the winner of last month's comic book giveaways. This month's giveaways, if you're a Patreon subscriber, are the Iron Man Welding Society exclusive cover variant and cable number one signed by Fabian Nietzsche, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So if you're in the Patreon, you can go ahead and enter for those and check to see if you won the others. And also, uh, just to let you know, I'm closing the Patreon. Oh. Now, I'll be closing it. There's really a lack of interest. Mm -hmm. And the, the purpose behind the Patreon, of course, was to fund the giveaways so that we could just generate it right back to the viewers. But um, people don't seem too terribly interested in the Patreon. And without... A lot of interest there isn't too much I can do with it mm -hmm. so we'll shut that down I'll do this one last giveaway over there and then I'll close it down and maybe at some point in the future I can revisit that if people are interested okay but we'll go ahead and get started I wanted to show this going to entertainment earth or went to entertainment earth they've gotten some really great exclusives and it's been very difficult for people yeah this one was a six-pack homage to the original six releases of playmates ninja turtles that came in that case and this was 90 dollars yeah it's not a bad price actually mm -hmm. limited to five thousand pieces but sold out very quickly like every other action figure sdcc pack that went to entertainment earth if you were able to get this congratulations <laughs> <laughs> i'm jealous yeah but uh yeah but they're all limited and they've been going quickly. Jumping over to Funko, we've got a PX Previews exclusive Carnage. It says Venom, but that looks like Carnage to me. I don't know, maybe it is Venom. But <laughs> Venom Carnage, whoever it's supposed to be, a cover moment with the comic. Oh, so you're getting the pop with all that going on yeah. in the comic book? Yeah, you know the PX. Oh, okay does that sometimes where they've got a comic book. Mm. Okay, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. You don't get an actual book or a card. I hope it's an actual comic mm. instead of a card. You pull the old okie doke on people. <laughs> yeah, couldn't get away from it. Five Nights at Freddy, they're back again. These are the action figures. Action, figure ones. action figures of Five Nights yeah, at Freddy's. Yeah, I've seen that in a long time. No, they backed off for a while. They gave us a breather. Yeah, for like a year or Ooh. more. We needed it. <laughs> There's certain franchises they just beat to death. And mystery minis. What are those green things? Is that glow in the dark? Yeah, glow in the dark glitter. Well, the top one is glitter. Glitter mm. and glow, it says. And there's a metallic one and a flocked one. They don't mm. tell you what the ratio is. Oh. Um. Another PX Previews exclusive, Doctor Doom with comic, Glows in the Dark. Oh, so they're doing this comic book thing now. Yeah, they've done it a couple of times in the past, PX. So is it actual comic book or just a cover? I hope it's a comic. You mean a book? Comic book? Yeah. Mm. It's my understanding that it's an actual comic book. Mm. Redrawn with, like, the characters all looking like Pops. Oh, but it's the same words as, like, the original? Yeah. But just drawing new pictures? Yeah. Oh, okay. If I'm, if I'm correct, mm. but that's, that's what I was told. Oh, okay. My Hero Academia, including a 10-inch supersized pop, another one. Oh, they got on masks for the coronavirus. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> See, two of them got on masks. Three of them, really. Like... The purple thing could be considered a mask. Oh, the rest of them like see that. <laughs> They're gonna pass for the virus. <laughs> Are they standing six feet apart? Yeah, no. Uh -huh. More My Hero Academia, a GameStop, and a box lunch exclusive. 
Well, half of them don't have mouths anyways, so they really don't need a mask. Yeah, the nose. Mm-hmm. they got to breathe somehow. And pens and keychains. Hmm. Triple-A anime. Triple-A anime. Office t-shirt bundles. Dwight. Yeah, Dwight and Dunder Mifflin. Mm. And more office t-shirt bundles. And again, I haven't seen this show, so... Yeah. I don't know too much about that. And venomized t-shirt bundles. Venomized Iron Man. How does he venomize the Iron Man suit itself? Because he's a symbiote that has to attach to an actual person, so wouldn't it be under the suit? You're overthinking it. Yeah, well, somebody's got to think about that kind of stuff. Hmm. And Captain America. Hulk and Groot venomized. They already did the Venom version. So is that the same pop just yeah, with a but, shirt? Yeah, these come with a t-shirt. I don't know if it's a different one than the pop that was already released. It probably is the same one. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It, Funko. What can I say? That's and good. that's it for Funko. And we're going to take a look at Good Smile. And Good Smile has more Nendroids. And this is Amaterasu from, is that Naruto? I want to say. I could be wrong. No, it's Okami, isn't it? It's Okami. It's not the fox with nine tails or whatever. Okami Amarasu. $55. You got two heads. Yeah. Or a faceplate. It's probably a faceplate. Mm. And there's a deluxe version for 77 that comes with additional accessories. What is that? A baby? I don't know. It looks like it could be baby legs with like leaves or maybe it's a chicken <laughs> i don't know what that's supposed to be i'm not familiar with this game mm. it's a video game uh-huh and they have pit figma for a hundred and eight dollars mm. weird ankle articulation there yeah and that's if a good smile and Hot Toys has hey. announced some 2020 Toy Fair exclusives. I just want to show, I, I don't have prices on these right now. I don't know what they are. Expect that they're going to cost a lot. I'll just say that. <laughs> Maybe they're going to be around the $300 mark. Um, this looks to me like the 2099 version of Spider-Man. A lot of hands. A lot of hand variations. Toy Fair exclusive Thor Ragnarok Stan Lee cameo. See, he's got Thor's hair. Oh, he, he was the barber, right? <laughs> he was the barber, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold still. Oh, my hands aren't as steady as they used to be. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, mean, I like seeing Stan Lee, though. Mm -hmm. Iron Man 2 Whiplash. This is one. This is the one that a lot of people are buzzing about. Oh, yeah. You remember Whiplash from Iron Man Two? You saw Iron Man Two. He's the one. He cut the uh, race car in half with the with the uh, whip. Hmm. You don't remember? No. Nope. That looks pretty cool though. And then the Mark IV holographic version, because you see the armor is like this transparent plastic. Mm hmm. Which is also pretty cool. Iron Man's usually run a lot more than regular Hot Toys figures. So, so they usually die cast. Yeah, often they are. I doubt this one is, though. Uh, Tri uh, lights up all over the place, but yeah, Iron Man's are not cheap. Mm -hmm. Although a lot of people on uh, Hot Toys um, social media are scolding them for doing another Iron Man. They're like, come on, another one? They don't have to buy it. <laughs> no, they don't. But, you know, people all like to complain about stuff. Yeah. They look like Iron Man, too. That's Iron Studios, Iron Man, and that mm. is the illusion Iron Man from Spider-Man Far From Home. Mm. And you can see he's kind of pixelized. Yeah, that's one, what's going on. One-tenth scale. You saw the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't remember that, though. You don't remember that? Mm -mm. Well, $190.
one tenth scale. And jumping to Mattel, mm -hmm. this is Gigawatt who is the Back to the Future crossover Transformer. Because mm. <laughs> they're doing crossovers with everything. Yes. Including... My Little Pony. My Little Pony. Which I don't have anything but sketches of. I haven't seen anything but sketches, so I don't know how definite that actually is. But they're doing the comics. So, mm. yeah, expect the unexpected and the unwanted. You don't know. Maybe many people want that. This is the PowerCon exclusive five pack oh, from Mattel. Uh, five pack. All five of them are going to be in one bag. In one box. They don't show a picture of it packaged, mm. but all five of these in one box. And these, of course, are the new seven inch style coming from Mattel. Mm -hmm. Available on Big Bad Toy Store. Okay. 270. Mm. For this, two hundred and seventy for the five pack, which puts them at roughly about fifty five a piece. That says expensive. Mm, seems so. And another PowerCon exclusive is Shira, which you can also pre order on Big Bad Toy Store, and she is sixty dollars straight up. With the comb. Her comb is also a hatchet, <laughs> <laughs> so watch out. Yeah, because she get choppy up and then go back and comb her hair. Brush out. her hair, yeah. yeah. Be leery of the business end of her comb, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is larger than her sword. Why is her power sword so small? And her shield <laughs> is small. They're, They're not going to protect nothing. No. God, I, think I don't know what happened there. Yeah. Take a look at Mezco. Mm -hmm. And this was all the buzz. And somebody asked me how come I didn't show this last week because there were no official images until Monday. Mm. It was really simply, and I didn't want to show like a piece of this and a piece of that. This is the Nosferatu from the Silent Screamers series, one twelve scale from Mezco, going for one hundred and twelve. It's I believe it's sold out on uh, Mezco, mm -hmm. sold out pretty quickly. Big Bad Toy Store still has it. It's not cheap there though. I bet you can find it on eBay. Yeah, you can <laughs> for quite a bit. <laughs> this looks pretty cool though. Uh, he's got the coffin. The, they don't show a picture of the coffin open, I don't think. But it's full of dirt and worms inside the coffin. He's got the lantern, three different heads, keys, a bunch of rats. This looks pretty freaking cool. No, it don't. I like this. Sure it does. That's awesome. Mm. This is one of those ones, one of those sleepers that might knock it out of the park like they did with Popeye. Popeye had to be the best figure they made in 2019. Mm. And it's a bundle. I oh, you know. can see the dirt and the worms there. You see, it comes with a, a t-shirt and a film cell. This is based on the silent film, by the way, the original silent film in 1922, and a lunchbox. I want the lunchbox. You can't have it. I'll get it. <laughs> no, no, lunchbox is for you, denied. Mm -hmm. She does collect lunchboxes. But that's, I thought that was pretty cool. That's like knocking it out. NECA? That's not, oh yeah, that's NECA. Yeah, NECA's next. And here we have reveals, and I like the way they did this with the three-side imagery, of the next release going to Target, their animated Ninja Turtles series. April and Foot Soldier. Bashed, it says. So I guess he's beat up. I guess. April whipped him with her microphone. Sure she did. Casey and Foot Soldier. Slashed. I thought that went to Walmart. He's cut clean in half. Who? Keith? You see? The, the uh, foot soldiers. See? His torso separates. Oh, yeah. Because they're robots on the mm -hmm. show. So what went to Walmart? You'll, uh, the, the other one. You'll mm -hmm. see. And Slash and Leatherhead. Leatherhead looks cool. Yeah. NECA also has the Mecha Godzilla Godzilla. And this is the more modern Mecha. Lovely box art. Yeah, that is cool. I, I always like the box art on uh, on these mm -hmm. when they do the Godzillas. Tokyo SOS. Yep, SOS. You are in trouble. Tokyo's always in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Just to go destroy Tokyo. And that's going to throw us into Saicho. <laughs> And no, we did Sideshow. No, we did do Sideshow. Okay. And just showing it for why not 
because I know probably nobody's interested in these, but the Bear Bricks, some of them are hilarious. That's Harley Quinn, obviously. Oh, Comes with the mini one. Mm-mm. $150. Whoa, those usually go for a lot. Yeah, it depends on how big it is. Like this one, mm. <laughs> which is 580 Oh. <laughs> well, animated Harley Quinn. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you've got to have the Joker with the little mini one. And that is 150 or a gigantic one for five hundred and eighty dollars, folks. <laughs> that is, <laughs> I'm sure somebody appreciates that. Yeah, I guess somebody got a whole stack of them. Can you imagine all the different like sizes? Seventy bear bricks on display in your room. Mm -hmm. If that's what you're into, that's what you're into. Yeah, I'm not gonna get mad at anybody nope. for it. I like that. Beast Kingdom, Dark Knight Memorial, mm -hmm. Batman statue looks like it's bronzed yeah i don't know what it's actually made out of though but it has that bronze look which yeah it sure good. does 199 yeah you know that ain't bronze no <laughs> <laughs> probably Making not 100 and some odd dollars look at that thing chronicle breakout raptor jurassic park 550 it looks small it's not very big no it's not it's like the whole thing is 13 inches tall that's uh, quite a price tag on the mm -hmm. Jurassic Park stuff. Yeah. DC Direct. We haven't seen anything from them in a while. Yeah. This is the McFarlane Batman. And that's from uh, one of the covers. McFarlane used to do Batman before he went over to Marvel. Oh, okay. And so th this is right off of the covers, I believe, of one of the Batmans that he had done back in the, what, late 80s? 135. Kotobukaya, Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie, you see, that's uh, a human version of the My Little Pony. Oh, is that what's going on? That's here? what's going on. This is $100, one seventh scale, already almost sold out. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of happy bronies out there. And you get the little pony? Yes, they're mm. both on the same platform. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I know. From Level 52 Studios, Death Dealer, 13 inches tall. And that's counting to the top of the hatchet there. 300 bucks. $300. $300 for the Death Dealer. Also from Level 52, The Lookout. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tear it up. <laughs> yeah, I see that. She, that's nine and a quarter inches tall. One hundred and twenty dollars for the lookout. From Mediacom, Batman Hush. Ninety-five. Hmm. One twelve scale. A lot of accessories there. You get three different heads. And there's his accessories. And of course Hush is Robin. Oh. Or was. Oh. From Mighty Jacks, Kaiju Ramen Nuclear Edition. What? <laughs> $179 for this. I like that oh, one. yeah, that is awesome. Soap Studios, Tom and Jerry, The Musketeers. I remember that episode. Mm -hmm. 119, one to one scale bust, obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't realize um, it was only one nineteen. I yeah, saw it, that is cheap. I didn't know. Um, actually, I didn't look it up because they, they, this is the second one they've done. Remember the other one? He was eating a burger, and Jerry was in it. Yeah, that's pretty neat, though. I like that. Yeah. From Square Enix. <laughs> Yishtola. 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 If I'm pronouncing that right, ninety-five dollars. One twelve scale comes with everything you see there. And From Annabelle. Star Ace, Annabelle, well, caricature Annabelle because her head is gigantic. Yeah, all you see is head. <laughs> and all you see is head. When I first saw this, I almost thought it was from Mezco at first. Yeah. Because they're, they're living dead dolls that they do. Mm-hmm. 95. Hmm. And from okay. Star Ace also, the Balrog from Lord of the Rings. 
This is six inches tall. It does light up. Is that an animal? Oh, it was a, a demon that was in the first installment of Lord of the Rings, the film. Uh, $96. And also, Sauron. And this is like a caricature. See, he's got the one ring on his finger there. Seven inches tall, ninety dollars. He wears the police sculpted on every side. Yeah, I see that. He wears the one ring on his right hand. Oh yeah. That's what it says. Mm. And from three zero, Evangelion Robo Duo Model Two. This is ten inches tall. A lot of accessories, actually. Yeah, it is. One twenty nine. $129. Top secret. Top secret. You can't know about it. And that's it for Sideshow. And available from Super 7. Just wanted to show these real quick. Because they are up for pre-order now. Mm -hmm. Is the April O'Neil. I like how she's got the turtle in her compact. She's from WTMNT. Oh, WTMNT. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There he goes. All right. Hi. Say hello. He doesn't want to. Did you change your mind? Here, go over there and stay off the keyboard. Metalhead. I think that's Metalhead, right? Uh-huh. I could be wrong. And these are going for what? 45 a piece? Yeah. Is that correct for the pre-order? Yeah. Michelangelo with Big a pizza heads. box. Look, there's a, a separate. I wonder if that's actually a completely separate piece of uh, pepperoni, pepperoni laying in there. What are you doing, kitty? Keep going. Kitty had an accident. <laughs> and rock steady. <laughs> Clumsy. And again, these are 45 piece available for pre order on Super 7's website. Put that in later. I'll put it back together. I bet he won't do that again. No, because it scared him. It's scary behind the kit. And that's it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So, did you see anything you like? Yeah. Um, let me see. Oh, I like the uh, Ninja Turtle, uh, the six pack. I did order From that. From Entertainment Earth? Mm hmm. You got it. Wow. Yeah, I was able to get that. Um, I'm no longer getting the ones from NECA. The, uh, the, the Target turtles. ones? Yeah, because... The one you were thinking of that was going to Walmart is the uh, movie versions. Oh, okay. Not the animated versions. Yeah, I mean, I would like to have those, but, you know, it's just a bit much to get it and to go out and, and, and try to find it. Sometimes they turn up at Target at the last, you know, after, but then not the whole, not all of them. Yeah. So I'm not going to be bothered with it. Um, I did order the ones from Super 7. Super 7. So I'm going to just stick with Super 7, you know. Mm -hmm. It's not a two-pack, it's a one-pack. Yeah. But that's fine. Um, because I don't have any original Turtles. And I was considering going back and trying to get the main characters. I see. For but, the Playmates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like that Batman, the Browns Batman. Really? Mm, I'm not going to get it, though. <laughs> I like it. You asked me what I like. So sure, sure. I like that, but I'm not going to get that. I don't collect Batman. Okay. But other than that, that's it. All right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I like the Mezco Nosferatu. You I bought like, that. I like that. Yeah, I did manage to get one. The I like the uh, 12 scale um, figures from Mezco, mm -hmm. and hopefully I'll be seeing that soon, and I can do a review of it. Yeah. And check that out. Yeah. And I also like the uh, 
Oh, where was it? There was something else. All the um, Tom and soap Jerry. studios, Tom and Jerry. Yeah, I that like was that. cool. That is cool. I do like those. But, you know, that's going to do it for me. Yeah. And so I'll put it out there. Hey, folks, did you see anything you liked? Tell us about it in the comment section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Remember, if you're a Patreon subscriber, to go ahead and see if you're a winner from last month's giveaways and enter for this month's. And, again, unless there's some miracle, odds are I'm probably going to cancel the uh the uh, Patreon after this this current cycle just because, like I said, there's a lack of interest. So mm -hmm. I can't do too much with it if there's hardly anybody there. Um, and I guess that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what else can I say? But thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.